this puzzle comes down to uh, what you deem suitable. Our life experiences, as for me, and in my life experience, it's the e-chair, which is the most used in halls. Yep. Layton's apprentice saves the day. I would have 380, but stupid puzzle. That's right, of all the designs, only E can be stacked upon itself. In a hall like the one described, each event requires a different number of seats, and thus a change in seating arrangement. The stackability of E makes it the best chair for the job. Well done, I suppose this puzzle was too easy for you, my boy. <gasps> we got another painting scrap! So, uh, let's go to the painting. Oops, didn't do that. I don't want to rotate it. Uh, one, two, three. Don't know. One, two, three. Oh. I think it goes there. It tells you in the walkthrough where it goes. It says row three, column two. And I'm guessing it's three rows down, second column, like that. So, uh, we now have two pieces of the picture. Now, the candle. Look here, my boy, this extinguished candle has reminded me of a simply wonderful puzzle. Ten out of ten. Quite easy. Ten candles stand burning in a dining room. A strong breeze blows in through an open window and distinguishes two of them. Checking back in on the candles later, you see that one more candle has gone out. To make sure no more flames go out, you shut the window. Assuming the wind doesn't extinguish any more candles, how many candles do you have left in the end? Ah. I have... An idea of what the answer is, because I am thinking this is a trick question, which I've seen something of the like and thought, so either this is a twist on that obvious trick question, then I know what the answer is already. But let's look at the hints. It may seem, it may seem straightforward, but it wouldn't be a puzzle if there wasn't a trick to it. Read the problem over again. The problem wants to know how many candles you have left in the end. Mm -hmm. The wind blows out two candles and then shortly afterward blows out one more. So how many candles are extinguished? The candles that aren't extinguished by the wind continue to burn. What will happen to these candles if they are allowed to keep burning? Think critically about what have left in the end really means. It means an item needs to exist, doesn't it? So what becomes of a burning candle when it's left alone? Well, at first you might think that you know you leave a can you, you, you think you know what what have you left in the end? You've got you've got candles. How many candles? Well, if you you know forgot about the that three of them were blown out, you might say oh zero candles because you know candles in the end they all burn out, but three of them got blown out. The other seven kept burning. So in the end, seven disappeared from existence. Matter somehow was erased from the universe, which is practically impossible, but you know. Which means that the three that were blown out by the wind are the only ones that are left. I think I've got it. Haha. -ha. Professor, I've solved it. That's correct. The seven candles that managed to stay lit will melt down completely. The only candles that remain in the end are the three that are extinguished by the wind and therefore stay intact. <coughs> I've seen a puzzle uh, like this before. Excellent work, my boy. Sometimes it's important to consider the obvious too. Delving too deep into the implied can cause misconceptions. And now it's finally time to leave. Uh, maybe we need to go left. Mm. 
Yeah, hey, you two. Help me out here, would you? I'm in a real pickle. What seems to be the problem, sir? Some fool went and raised the bridge while I was on my break. Ugh. Then, as if that wasn't bad enough, that scoundrel made off of my only bridge crank. Ugh. Oh dear, so you mean to say... Ugh. That's right, until that thing turns up, no one's getting in or out of the village. I'm still looking for the blasted crank, but I'm too furious to get anything done. Yeah. What kind of person would do something like this anyway? Oh yeah. I found this in the street when I was out looking for my crank. Got any idea what it is? Hmm, strange gizmo. The gizmo's option has been added to the menu. Touch the trunk to open it. Then tap the gizmo's icon. From here you can see the various mechanical parts you've gathered around the village. The vanishing crank was added to your list of mysteries. Hmm. <gasps> oh my goodness, I see her. Aha, fluffy, purple bow, solemn expression. No doubt about it, that's Claudia. Well, Spotty Luke, now we've located her. The question at hand is how to get go about catching her. Leave this one to me, Professor. Ah yes, I've forgotten that you have a way of animals. Well, go right ahead then. Here, Claudia. Here, girl. <coughs> Luke, are you alright? I'm sorry I wasn't much help, Professor. She's much feistier than I imagined. Ha! <laughs> oh, who's this gentleman who's appeared? Oh, yeah, I saw that cat. She almost scratched your eye out. Don't capture you, say. Thanks, but no thanks. I like living. Did you see that ferocious beast? I'm not going anywhere near her. Could you at least tell us in which direction she ran off? I saw that killer scurry off westward. She had fangs inside her daggers. All right. Thanks a bunch. What's this to the right of Franco? <laughs> Professor, have you noticed that this door is a different colour than all the others in the area? And look at those these vines. Have you seen vines growing on any other house in St. Mystia? This nameplate on the door says House of Puzzles. Oh. See, that's what it says right there. House of Puzzles. Indeed. I'm not quite sure what else lies behind the door, but it's clear there are puzzles hiding inside. Sadly, the door is shut tight and there's no sense in waiting around for it to open. Let's return later. Well, let's go to the third right, to this blue door. Oh, hello. If you look to the right of the window in the centre, at the top... Pick a rat. Pick a rat! Hint coin! I keep calling pick a rat! Under there... And right there. Ta da! So this guy. He's called Rodney, apparently. And he's not getting a voice. This is the village hall. What business do you have here? If you have just moved here, I strongly advise that you fill out a change of address form. Oh no, we aren't here for anything like that. Regardless, all village hall visitors must complete the proper forms. You can't start with. But you can start with this one. And what is this? It's a puzzle! 40 out of 40 pick rats, and we'll do this next time.